question posed by Ishfaq Bashir. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa barakatuh. Ishfaq from Kashmir. Why Muslim countries not unite against Israel? That's a very good question. But that question should not be posed to me. It should be posed to the leaders of the country. If you heard my talk on the 15 point action plan for the Muslim Ummah in relation to Palestine. And my last two points, I mentioned that if all the Muslim countries unite and if they stand unitedly, then inshallah, no non-Muslim will try and interfere with us. And how the non-Muslims have a NATO, North Atlantic Alliance, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, where there are about 30, 31 countries are member. And according to their treaty, if anyone attacks any one of the 31 countries, it is as though you have attacked all the 31 countries. So if all the Muslim majority countries, all the 57 countries, they gather together and they unite. And if they made MECTO, Muslim Alliance, Treaty Organization, or Muslim Country Treaty Organization, MECTO, Muslim Country Treaty Organization, and if you have the same rule, that if you attack any one of the 57 countries, it is as though you have attacked all the countries, then we will not have the problem what we are having today regarding the genocide that Israel is doing in Palestine. You are asking me? This is the solution I gave. So you should ask the rulers of the Muslim countries, why are they not uniting? And we have to realize that I am aware that the non-Muslims have got a lot of arms and ammunition, they have got nuclear power, they have got wealth, they have got, uh, they have got the military, but we fail to realize that we have Allah with us. And Allah with us is more important than all the power that they have. But unfortunately, we Muslims are weak. And this reminds me of the hadith of a Prophet Muhammad that there will be a time when Muslims will be attacked. So the one of the Sahabas, they will be looked down upon, they will be ill-treated. So the Sahabas asked that, will the Muslims will be less in numbers? The Prophet said, no, they will be in large numbers, but they will be like froth. Froth, large in number, but useless. They will not be united. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse 103, Hold strongly to the rope of Allah and be not divided. So, I, my solution that to have these problems what is having, see anything, imagine if, if Israel was alone and if Muslim Palestinians were alone fighting them, inshallah they would have won them lock, stock and battle. Even though they are very weak, they are less equipped. But if it's a war only between Israel and Palestine, I am sure that the Muslims, even if they are less equipped, even if they have lesser army, lesser equipment, yet, according to me, they will win them lock, stock and battle. But you have the huge superpowers in the world, America supporting them, you have UK supporting them. And what are the Muslim countries doing? Nothing. It's a shame on us. That imagine all the superpowers are gathering together and they are attacking a Muslim country who gave refuge to the Jews, inviting them to stay and now they are kicking them out of the house and these people who are terrorists are now calling the Muslim Palestinians the terrorists. And what are we doing? Nothing. So we Muslims should unite and there are alliances you can do and profited alliance. If we want to do alliance, surely the Muslim countries get together and do alliance with Russia or with China. If Muslim countries join hand with Russia and China and then make an alliance, I am sure no of none of these non-Muslim countries like, like USA, like UK, like France, they have history. UK has a history and France and Germany, they have a history that they rule about two-thirds of the world. They came and they ruled India, they came and they ruled Malaysia, many countries in the world. They have habit of interfering with other people and they say we are doing it for the benefit. So what we should do, we should join hands, make alliance 
with countries like Russia, like country like China, and have an alliance. Allah has given us the black gold. We have control of the petrol. So if the Muslim countries get together, and we know the major oil producing country is the Muslim. The major export of the oil is Muslim. And oil is required even for weaponry, even for fighting. If all the Muslim countries get together, Allah has given us resources. Palm oil, 90% of the palm oil is with Indonesia and Malaysia. 60% Indonesia, 30% Malaysia. So all the resources Allah has given us, if we have an alliance of the Muslim countries for trade, for business, for military, like if they have the Interpol, international police, we should have the Islam pole, Islamic police. Why should we be dependent on them? So if we collaborate and join hands together, not to bully others, they are doing it to bully others. They go and kill tens of thousands of Muslims in Afghanistan, in Iraq, now in Palestine. What are we doing? If we join hands together and unite on the basis of Quran and Sayyid Hadith, as Allah says, Wa tasimu wala tafraku. In Surah Imran chapter 3, verse 103, that hold all the Muslims, hold strongly to the rope of Allah and be not divided. Hold strongly to the Quran and Sayyid Hadith. So, inshallah, I feel this is the only solution. Of course, there are hadith and predictions of the Prophet that before the end of the world, Muslims, inshallah, will rule the world. There will a time come. Even irrespective whether the, whether the Muslims follow or not, there will be a time towards the end of the world. Before the end of the world, the signs are coming. The, there are minor signs and major signs. Most of the minor signs have already come. Few are remaining. But before the end of the world, according to Sayyid Hadith, the Muslims will rule the world for seven years. For seven years, there will be peace and prosperity in the full world, where Muslims will rule the world as per the Quran and Sunnah. And later on, a sweet wind will come, all the Muslims will be, will, will be put to death very peacefully, and then the signs of Qiyamah will start. So, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we don't know whether we'll be alive during that time or not, but at least we have to now support our Muslims and brothers, our, our Muslim brothers and sisters in Palestine. And we see that what's happening, the genocide that the Israelis are doing, and the so-called human rights champions, whether it be USA, whether it be UK, whether it be France, whether it be Germany, these so-called human rights champions, they are doing a genocide. They are doing the same thing what was done on them. But inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us. Whether some of the Muslims join us or not, inshallah, inshallah, a time will come that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us victory. And we as individuals should strictly follow the Quran and Sunnah. If we don't have the ability, see to it that we are prepared to follow the instructions given by Allah and His Rasul in the Quran and Sayyid Hadith, so that we get the best in this world and the Akhirah. Hope the answer is the best.